Hello everyone, Olga with you. In previous video, I touched the topic a bit about um, Ukrainian soldiers and their equipment in the front line, that our people collecting money a lot and financing our uh, soldiers a lot with basic things. And naturally, I got so many questions and uh, not understanding how it could be. So in this video, I want to tell you a lot of information how this thing is financed, uh, where uh, help from Western countries is coming, why our soldiers need to buy uniform for themselves. So please watch this video to the end. I promise you a lot of interesting and new information. I would like to start with numbers. Uh, Frontline in Ukraine nowadays is about 2,500 kilometers. In miles, it is 1,550 miles. This all line is a front line. Only this is front line. Then um, in 1,300 kilometers or 800 miles approximately, it's the area with active fights. So every centimeter you can say of 800 miles or out of 1,300 kilometers, uh, in heavy fights and it's where every day you need to have weapon supply, um, soldier supply, logistics and all these kind of things. This is exactly, exactly the things which is defining uh, the active fight. Regarding soldiers, we have right now 700,000 people exactly engaged in military. Plus we have 110,000 in territorial defense, plus we have national guards uh, who are um, uh, somehow not in the front line, but behind the front line they are uh, trying to spot any kind of uh, diversions or any kind of like these guys who want to sneak and do some, some things inside of Ukraine and so on. Police, uh, which is also somehow you can say work for military and sometimes they need special equipment. So all these people you will reach up to one million people who is somehow engaged in fighting and war almost directly. Okay, now when you understand the numbers which we are talking about, let us talk um, how all these people can get uh, totally equipped, uh, they can have weapon and so on. First of all, Ukraine uh, never claimed to be one of the best army in the world, one of the best equipped, we never had one of the best weapon inventions and so on. So naturally, once we face with real invasion, Ukraine really by herself cannot handle all this and cannot respond. Yes, we have very passionate people. We have so much people. You see, we got um, out of 200, I guess, thousand, this is regular army. We got 700,000 military people who is fighting in the front line and we have much more people who want to fight on the front line. But nowadays war, as I said, it's not where you go bulk on bulk and see who will win by the amount of people. Nowadays war, it's war uh, with the technology, with high uh, precise weapon, with uh, all kind of um, modern inventions that we have and for sure all the things Ukraine was missing for their defense and that is why we were asking so much for the help from the western countries to give us some weapon and supply us some things because uh, we cannot handle it alone. Okay, everybody know most likely that from his country they are always dedicating so much money for Ukraine regardless, whatever is your budget. But based on the country budget, it would be a lot of money dedicated to Ukraine and they're all coming and we don't know to where they're going. And now while I said that our even soldiers need to equip themselves by themselves, this is more crazy. I will tell you that uh, most of money uh, which is coming from the big countries like US for example or which is somehow giving us money and uh, dedicating really a huge uh, a huge budget for Ukraine somehow, uh, most of those countries, they are supplying weapons for Ukraine. So what I mean under weapon, uh, it's um, helicopters, uh, it is some kind of drones and not some stupid drones. It is super high quality drones which can really um, give a lot of value for Ukrainians. Uh, it is some kind of pilotless plane. I guess it's also called drones in Ukraine, but it looks like airplane, doesn't look like drone. Uh, then um, howitzers, if I translate it correctly. 
artillery rocket systems, javelins, stingers and all these kind of tanks and um, a lot of other military vehicles which is not shooting but they are very helpful on the front line for different purposes. All this weapon is super important for Ukraine and uh, even just um, uh, US give to Ukraine 20 HIMARS and it's uh, exactly our, um, rocket uh, systems, uh, rocket launchers if I'm understanding it correctly. Only 20 HIMARS changed the whole war to a totally different direction and our luck somehow is that Russian army is really very bad equipped. A Russian uh, army doesn't have some super modern technologies and because they don't really have it somehow we can even with little amount of weapon we still are able to convert our defense to offense. The help which Western countries gave to us, and I'm not talking just about US, uh, Germany, Spain, um, I don't want to mention countries because every country participates. Some countries give some airplanes, uh, old airplanes, mostly from Soviet time, but they give us these airplanes. Uh, somebody give anti-rocket systems and uh, uh, tanks again and so on. But those countries are not handling war in Ukraine uh, on 100%. They are not dedicating totally their country just to work for Ukrainian war and finance Ukrainian war 100%. As I told you, our front line is about 2,500 kilometers. It's a huge uh, uh, amount of weapon should be uh, supplied to Ukraine if you want in every piece of this front line uh, be very efficient and really fight in efficient way like how they would fight if they would be having their territory invaded. That is why the weapon which is getting supplied to Ukraine by Western countries, it is going to the um, parts of the front line where are the most heavy fights, where it's the most needed and where our commanders, for example, they, they will see the best, the best uh, um, usage of this weapon or it would be the most efficient because we don't have a lot and we need to decide where it will work the best. So naturally other parts of the front lines and other parts which is not a direct front line they will not have those western supplies because as I said it's logically it will go to the places where it's most needed and those guys they will have to deal with the things which they have and they actually don't really have a lot. Ukraine by herself cannot really finance uh, all this huge amount of people by herself and we are getting a lot of help from uh, for sure other um, uh, governments just uh, little by little and at the same time Ukrainians every Ukrainian person is personally participating in in so many projects, in so many purchases to buy the things for our army. So what Ukrainians are buying? Okay, let me start with the biggest projects that we had. Uh, we have one guy who is a big volunteer in Ukraine. He created his charity or let's say like that fund. And he's uh, uh, doing volunteering since 2014, uh, since the beginning of this invasion of Russia to Ukraine. And um, uh, recently there was two, I guess, the biggest projects which show how much Ukrainians can finance their things by themselves. The first thing it was he was collecting for four Bayraktars. This is also pilotless plane which is also carrying two kind of rockets, I guess, or I'm not sure how is it called. So um, for these things uh, he was collecting for three actually and people over donated and they was able to buy four so in total in two days ukrainians and this is just ukrainians this is normal people were donating and in two days they got 16 million three hundred thousand dollars 16 million dollars let's, let's make it like that Ukrainians collect in two days uh, just to buy these four Bayraktars. Uh, the company of Bayraktars, they said they will give this weapon uh, for free for Ukrainians and uh, those money we pay for Finnish company which is producing microsatellites. It's called ICI and uh, it will allow us to have access to um, super precise detailed uh, pictures from the satellites and it should be very helpful uh, for people especially who is in front line and not just in front line to plan operations and to plan our defense and to, to build some plans anyway. Um, another thing which we have uh, in Ukraine recently, I guess it was just a couple of days back, uh, again the same guy, he was collecting money for uh, kind of like armored vehicles, 
from originally they are from UK. Uh, he was collecting for 50 vehicles and people buy uh, he people donated in one day and a half for 60 vehicles and in total they collected uh, six million four hundred thousand dollars approximately and they closed this uh, donation so not any more needed um, and we will buy this uh, 60 armored vehicles from UK so all these things is financed by Ukrainians they're not uh, Ukraine is not getting everything for free another important thing which we have in Ukraine this is internet start link because uh, Russia is hitting infrastructure and so many uh, places doesn't have electricity at all and uh, many telecom towers they also work from the same electricity and that's why a lot of places appear to be totally with no connections especially on the front line because Russia this is the things which first they are doing they are hitting this kind of communication uh, uh, things and that is why Starlink was very useful and uh, very helpful on the front line on the territories which just was the occupied which still doesn't have good infrastructure and recently it's good all over Ukraine because actually most of Ukraine now is suffering from uh, lack of electricity uh, Starlink in Ukraine got um, officially 20,000 uh, stations 15,000 is financed by government of Poland by ministries of Dig digitalization in the European Union and by Ukrainian government as well 5,000 is just financed directly by Ukrainian government so we didn't get these things for free for example from uh, uh, Starlink at all we, we, we pay for them and we are paying the cost behind and at the same time, uh, about 7,000 stations are privately brought to Ukraine by volunteers, by people. My brother, for example, he buy one and sent uh, just from himself, he sent to Ukraine also. So people are buying these things for themselves, they are buying for frontline and they are financing this from their pocket. One of the discovery in this war, somehow, at least, from Ukrainian side is that um, it's very useful to have drones small drones like even DJI any kind of drones it's very useful to have uh, for people on the front line because for sure it helped them so much to understand where Russians are located where is their equipment is located and fight them more efficiently that's why our ministry they starting the project uh, drones for army and they already collected or they already paid as they said 51 million dollar um, to, to some company, I'm not sure from which countries they are buying these drones, but they already paid and they already made governmental order for, um, I guess, 900 something drones and they pay for it 51 million dollars. Okay, for what people are um, collecting money? People collecting money for literally for everything. As I said, it's starting from uniform, some boots, some helmets specifically, which can protect for armor and other things for people who are not indirectly in front line, but they will be sent to front line soon and they want to, uh, don't want to rely on government or Western help. Will they supply them something or not? They want to make sure that they will buy for, they will buy for their brother or their husband or anybody or all the best equipment which he can have just to save his life and to make him more efficient on this war so one of the top things which Ukrainians are collecting for is also drones and the drones which Ukrainians buying is all kind of different drones as I said it could be DJI we had some campaign that you can donate your drone and if you remember I used to have my drone um, DJI Mini 2 uh, then the things one of the most popular things this is thermal imager uh, it's also a very required thing and very necessary all kind of communication devices uh, small pilotless planes and cars cars for um, army this is the top things which all bloggers always posting every company is collecting they are just buying normal cars normal so it's not some kind of super military vehicles because this one ukraine need to make some orders from military plants or they can have some supply from western countries but normal normal just normal cars they are always needed in front line to bring things and uh, out to make logistic more efficient the cars always getting damaged they're getting targeted getting shot and so on so we always need new cars 
Sorry for the long video, but I hope that this video really gives you a bit more input on what is happening in Ukraine, uh, what people are buying, what people is financing, and how people is financing. And for this financing, by the way, if you want to help Ukrainians, you don't need to be necessary in Ukraine. And this is I'm talking for people who is saying that you must come back to Ukraine and help your country. <laughs> I just want to remind you again that for these things, you don't need to come back to Ukraine. It doesn't have relation. You can be in Ukraine and you can be out of Ukraine. Uh, so you can always help. I always have money on my local bank account, which is making those transfers very easy to another small card. Besides that, uh, I will show you a couple of pictures from the uh, also girl from my city. Uh, she went to a uh, very very far area around front line which recently get deoccupied and she show also terrible things how they bring humanitarian help for them and those people it was not even enough they didn't bring a lot of candies because they didn't think there are kids but they find there was a lot of kids there is mostly people are old and uh, people start asking her why why this is not occupied territories anymore why people are not leaving that place why they're not going anywhere else and she said that those people are old most of them have totally no money at all they cannot go anywhere because where they will go if you are going to any other part of ukraine you need to rent apartment nobody will give you any place to live for free and maybe somebody will host someone but this is very limited nobody can host the whole city or town in in their place and at the same time uh, those people have kids whose parents mostly is killed and they are caring taking care of those kids nowadays there are people who cannot move at all they are just the one who need to be always in bed and there is always somebody who need to care for them so the situation is very very bad very depressing and uh, every time when i'm watching such videos i for sure donating money just because i always feel so much bad for these things and yes again there is humanitarian help which is coming but this humanitarian help uh, from western countries it never can cover all this disaster which russia caused in ukraine because for that i guess many countries should dedicate half of their governmental budget to cover all the needs which people have and nobody is cutting the they are cutting they are making the things worse for their people but to some limit they will never go and uh, finance ukraine uh, ukrainian schools instead of their local schools they will not finance ukrainian hospitals instead of their local hospitals so that is why ukrainians need to work hard need to spend as much money as they can to help other ukrainians uh, which suffer from this war okay guys hope this video was helpful for you sorry for a long video but i really want to cover this information in a nice way so the one who reached it to the end please write me the comment that you was <laughs> listening me to the end i would really appreciate it and i'm sure there are a lot of guys uh, who was fighting or familiar more with the war please i'm also waiting for your comments which things is required on the front line besides weapon like i told you about thermal imagers um, drones some kind of cameras all these things write me more which things you feel it's really necessary and helpful in front line besides the main main big weapon okay thank you so much for watching this video love you guys all bye bye